Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. Hey, thank you guys so much for coming and watching us here. What this video and what this topic is really about is why you're not hitting your goals or targets in your janitorial business. So this is something that I have kind of been going over for myself. So these are the three reasons. One is wrong people. Wrong people could either mean wrong people outside of work. So friends you're hanging out with, family members, they can be people who are really, really, really close to you that you think want the best for you that are just sabotaging every single thing that you're doing. I'm not talking about the person online that tells you that they hate your guts and you're never going to make it. Those people are great. I love those guys. They give me enough fuel to keep going. I'm talking about your family. Hey, how come you're not home for dinner, right? How come we can't go to this event and you're too busy to do it? Right, they're, they're telling you to slow down, enjoy the time, don't work so hard, and they're getting you off your goals, right? They're, they're planting these little seeds in your head that you don't even notice it, but after four, five, six months, all of a sudden that, that foot you had on the gas starts to slip off to the brake a little bit, and then you're, you're on the gas and you're on the brake and you're about to blow your whole vehicle. Then you gotta let them know, hey, if you're coming around me, don't bring any negativity here. I don't want any of your ideas, your sabotages, nothing. If it's not, let's go, I can do it, move forward, we're gonna crush it. I don't wanna hear it, keep it away. So that's family and everything. Now, if you're talking about people inside your company, you know, having the wrong people inside your company will hurt it bad you're trying to move forward and they're behind your back sabotaging every single thing by talking negatively about stuff, going out after work, having creating problems where there's no problems. Those people are the worst thing for your company because if you don't see it and if you don't catch it, you're pushing forward, investing time, energy, and your money on these people and they're trying to sabotage every single thing that you have. That is how you blow up a company by having those people in your company sabotaging it. Second one is your commitment level. Are you actually committed? I did a coaching call with somebody two days ago. You know, to be brutally honest, the guy's like, I want it, man. I, I want to hit $20,000. I want this, I want that. But then he's talking about, yeah, but I also, you know, like I got to be home for my kids more. And then, you know, my wife's off work right now. So I need to make sure that I'm taking them to the sporting uh, events and, and cause she can't help out. And then I also got to go with the guys on the weekend because I, I don't want to, you know, not see them for a while. And like his words were saying commitment. He wanted the big money, but his actions were so off. So you need to make sure that your actions are congruent with your commitment level. So if you're all in, burn the bridges, tossed a grenade on anything in the past to move forward, that means your actions have to be in it. If you're sleeping in, eating shitty food, you know, not studying every single day, not making your necessary cold calls, tracking your expenses, making money, profit, hiring people consistently. What ends up happening is you end up completely just losing on the commitment aspect of it. You say you're committed, but with commitment, creativity happens. Because a lot of the time when you're committed and you start 10Xing your goals and you're like, all right, I want to go from 10,000 to 100,000. You're going to start bumping into issues because you don't know how to get over that. And if you're committed, it's always followed by creativity. New things start to happen. You're successful to the degree you are committed. So if you ever see some number drop in your company, it's because your commitment level's off and your attention's on something else and somebody else has sold you on it, which usually means the wrong people are in your life and business, okay? So that's commitment. The last one is, is you don't know what to do, right? So let's say you're, you're all in, you're committed right? You've axed out any negative people and you've added in some positive people. But if you don't know how to add five extra contracts into your business because you don't have the skill set of sales, prospecting and marketing, and you don't have a duplicatable system with scripts that you know how to do it, what's going to happen is you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to invest $250 in Google AdWords. Then I'm going to invest $500 here. And then I'm going to put $1,000 there. And then at the end of the month, you're going to be like, well, none of it worked. Yeah, because you're thinking in ones and twosies, right? You need to go all in and you need to learn. Now, if you're committed, you're going to learn just by continuously doing stuff. But that is the long road to get there. What you need is a coach or somebody to help you out that's done it to show you the exact steps A to Z on how to get there. 
all right? It's gonna cut down you not knowing. It's gonna be able to have you a lot of certainty and commitment to driving forward in your business. So these are the three big ones. You're hanging around with the wrong people. This, this one for me was the difficult one. I like people. Right? Like I'm like, oh, trust me, like th th there's something good in him. He's eventually going to get there. But this has sewered me more than anything. My commitment level is never off. Dude, I'm all in burn the bridges. The only time my commitment level gets off is if I have the wrong person in my ear. It will distract me for a very, very short period of time. And then bam, I snap right back into it. And then I have to ice that person out. Okay. But uh, not knowing has also hurt me a lot. Instead of just going and paying $50,000 for a coach or going and paying for a program or whatever I have to pay for to get the information, I try to do it cheap and save money, but it really cost me millions. You know, instead of 50,000 upfront, it cost me 100, 200, 300,000. So these are the three ones. So look back at your business over the past, you know, 60, 90 days and just make a decision, right? So keep the commitment strong. If you don't know, Get help knowing and understanding it's going to cut down your learning curve and get rid of anybody that's telling you you can't do it. You're not good enough. You know, just come out and hang out with us. Why don't you just watch a movie tonight? Slow down, settle down. You're going to burn yourself out. Just throw a grenade, blow that bridge up and just walk away. Okay, guys, as always, if you have questions, you can get a hold of us at 1-800-377-5572. My goal is to get you from where you are to wherever you need to be. I could at least show you how to get to about $7 million because that's where we're going to be this year. Okay, thank you guys. Have a great day.